Hey guys. So, this is going to be a weird one of these videos. One of these, uh, Luca rambles while playing GTA right along sort of deals. Because, um, this is going to be even less coherent than, um, the last one. So, I'm... I'm a broken person in many ways. Uh, and I kind of accept that and live with that and work around it. Maybe one day I can improve things, but as it stands, I try to operate in such a way that it stresses me the least, because uh, that's, that's the thing that breaks me more, you know? Um... And so, one of the things is it's really hard for me to just keep, do the same thing, you know, the same thing the same way. Uh, so when I'm doing series and stuff, I need to kind of, like doing YouTube things, I need to record a lot of stuff, like, all at once for the best experience for the viewer, I think. Or, like, have days where I'm definitely in that mood to create. And, I'm um, just... Yeah, we're, we're in a period where that's just not come up for a few days. And, um... At least I can make something out of this. Hopefully. Um, but yeah. Like, I would not enjoy... And, like, I love... I love... All the games that I currently have a series running are... Um... Some of the... My favorite games, just overall. That being said... Really, none of them are the ones that I want to play. I don't really want to play much of anything at the moment. I'm just kind of in a weird, anxious sort of uh, place. Um, and driving games tend to be therapeutic for that, but like making actual content, like doing a let's play and having to focus on that, that wouldn't that wouldn't work out so well for me. This is actually just something I do on my own. Whether it's I need to get in the sort of zen mode to do some art and I'm having trouble with that, or just pondering ideas for writing, I will just get on GTA and drive around or do various tasks. Not in the water, please. Oh, it's one of these skeletons. Anything new from this one? Or are they all the same? Io. Yeah, I don't. I'm, there's not really anything marked on this map. Besides, is it just letting you know that there's treasure on Kayo? Because I already know that. Anyway. Um, yeah. This is just going to be kind of a discussion of, um, creativity, creation, I guess, by an artist. And anxiety and other things. I'm probably going to go more in depth about my anxiety in the future when I can organize my thoughts a little bit better. Um. But yeah. Uh. So. I. Am. I don't know. I'm probably. I undiagnosed something. So I do, you know, I have a diagnosis of a social anxiety disorder. I think it goes beyond that at this point. I definitely have a couple specific anxieties that are not necessarily social anxiety. Like, I definitely have health anxiety and, um, I think my social anxiety kind of breaks into two parts. Obviously, I think all anxiety disorders ultimately end up being, um, anxiety 
about having anxiety at the end of the day. That's the cycle that ends up, like, really breaking you and making you, like, not function very well as a person in the traditional sense. But, I think I have uh, other undiagnosed issues as well. Issues or statuses or what have you. Some form of neurodivergence at the very least, whatever that may entail. Um, and I'm sure not having treatment for that is contributing to my current issues and whatnot. Enough people for a business battle, really? It's not that many people. Whatever. Guard. Guard. Come on. I should probably claim a organization so I can do some jobs. Um, but yeah, so one of the things that's been preoccupying a lot of my mind recently has been my old webcomic and the idea of redoing it, which is not the first time I've had that idea, and I've certainly executed a lot more on that idea in the past. I have several versions of the first page of the comic, for example, but... What I really want to do is do like a proper restart, starting things out a little bit like earlier in the story and like going back and changing a few details. I don't know. Well, I do, I do know. I do know some very some specific bunch of different details that I want to change. And I would rather communicate a lot of that through the actual comic itself, instead of just talking about it. So I guess that's gonna kind of handcuff me for how much I get into here. But... Um, for those who haven't re seen, read my comic, um... It's called Sunset Marauder. I've posted all the pages on MIFA, and I also have a website, sunsetmarauder.com. I'm trying to remember if there's anything more to it than that, but I don't know. It's on my link tree. I just, you know, find my link tree and you'll... It should be in there. Um... And yeah, I... It's... I stopped working on it in 2020, I think? Ironically, when people had the most time, it was actually I had the least time. Maybe, no, maybe I did pick it up and put it down in 2021, but I, th I think it was 2020 I stopped working on it. I originally had the, the core underlying idea for a comic of this type, probably as far back as 2014, but it didn't really take any sort of shape in my mind until like 2016 I want to say and that may have been the year I started working on it or it may have been 2017 I can't remember for sure let's see if I stopped in 2020 hmm I don't know I think I think 2017 is probably a safe time to guess is when I started making it like, in, in terms of, like, making full pages and putting them out. Um, I think I was brainstorming stuff for it earlier than that. But, yeah.
Um, but yeah, it's basically about two getaway drivers. They're the main characters who end up being finding themselves at the um, the center of like a huge sort of political movement even like the setting now I'm it's another thing I have to adjust because uh the setting is supposed to be dystopian and I feel like I kind of went a little light on the dystopia to the point that the world I was writing about kept getting like the world I was existing in kept getting worse as I was writing about a dystopia But it is, indeed, a more dystopic version. What is... What is happening here? Vehicle. What am I doing with this vehicle? Am I stealing it? What's the story of this vehicle? Oh, this is one of the drug deal ones, but it was on the move? Okay. Oh, this is just supplies for my weed farm. Okay. I forgot I even moved that down here. But I consolidated all my uh, businesses down. Down here. Okay, well. At any rate. <laughs> Businesses unavailable whilst you're CEO. Yeah, I know. Nonsensically. They really should just figure out how to unify MC President and CEO, because it's... Oh, awkward that those are two different systems. I do the business battle. Is no one else doing it? It feels like no one else is doing it. I don't really want to, though. Get my car. Um... Oh yeah, so it kind of, it explores ideas, the comic, it will eventually anyways. The, the part, as deep as I got into it, doesn't really get into these themes and st stuff, but I've written out a lot more. And it, it kind of explores ideas about, or, you know, will explore ideas about, um, kind of feeling like there is some great purpose you are somehow meant to fulfill versus, you know, just wanting to be yourself and follow your own path that you set forward. And like what, what is actually important and what isn't. Um, And, like, how sometimes the right person to do certain things is the one who's overlooked. Hey, 
I will cause... give you this target's name, yeah. but I know you haven't heard it before. He yeah. ain't even famous. Whatever. Um, I just sort of this idea of you know the the compelling narrative of a prophecy versus the reality of a. I don't have a Vagos Lowrider, so I'm going to need one. Um... And so, like, the, the compelling narrative of, like, prophecies and how it's just kind of BS and, like, they kind of got reinforced as I was, like, engaging of other content that existed of, like, oh, you know, if you don't follow the... You know, what... what and people are all about individualism until... They realize until it's it's stepping away from what you know a traditional story might entail about uh how a character should grow into the person they're destined to be based off of you know everything you know about their heritage or whatever and like it, it a, broader sort of scope of like how you're you're you have expectations placed on you in society based off of either your gender your economic class you come from your ethnicity whatnot and just capitalism in general sort of versus sort of pursuing what is true to the person that you are internally Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Behind the arrow. I mean, yeah. Well, he's not flying towards me, so I'm gonna ignore him for now. Maybe he's just doing Kyo prep. We can hope. Um. And yeah. And I really want to get this comic. I want to make it so badly. I keep adding to the story and writing more out, and I just... I gotta redo the old pages, because the art is so out of date. Um... But yeah, as I said, I've tried to redo it a few times in the past. I just don't think my art was was up to snuff, and like my ability to create was not, you know, at a level that I would have been happy with, anyways. But I haven't been able to really get anywhere. Like I haven't started in on the comic. I've made some like resources for myself, like a map, and I've been doing more writing. But just struggling to try and get my creative energy to just zero in on something and get the job done and like that that extends to video creation too and part of the reason why this video has been all over the place is because i'm just you know an anxious person who someday some days i just can't i can't operate and can't focus right um get what i need done done and maybe it's more than anxiety maybe it's undiagnosed adhd or something i don't know other days I can focus great, so who knows? Got my 
car. I don't think Spotify is shuffling. I wasn't really thinking about it until now, but yeah, I think I, I think I accidentally left shuffle off, so we're just kind of sequentially going through all of RuneScape's music at the moment, I think. Um... Yeah, I guess I can drive around all the, uh... Every place that has a safe and empty it out in my pockets. Um... Yeah, so... That's why we're here now. Just because I can't bring myself to make anything else because it would be terrible because I couldn't focus on it properly. And I guess that that idea that being like that, you know, feeling like a broken person who can't do the work that needs to be done. Think about it this way. Um, you're not worth the labor you produce, you know? You're, you're just... An animal in a very complicated situation that you were not evolved for. Everyone is, and some people thrive better in society and capitalism and whatnot. And other people don't do so well. I'm in the latter category. But I'm okay with how well I do. More for the most part. I'd like to be able to create more, but I honestly am more driven by the fact that I just want to be able to create more because, like, I know my procrastination slows down any potential progress towards financial uh, stability, but... At that point, I, I try to keep that far away in my mind, because I just... It's not helpful for the way that I function, and it will just make me feel terrible with no recourse. As I'm not capable of doing the things I would need to otherwise to fix that situation, because, uh... Any other time in history, under this these types of systems, I would die on my own. So... But then again, I would have had an entirely different set of experiences that would have led to me becoming the person that I was, so who knows. Um, but yeah. I guess in general, like, a message to my younger self, who I guess a lot of times is kind of the audience that I'm thinking of making content for. Really is just speaking to some hypothetical younger version of me out there who would be who would maybe encounter this content. Um, don't get hung up about what other people want from you. What society itself wants at the end of the day the people who actually care about you are only bringing things up because they're worried about your you know survival and happiness um but some of us can't really function I don't think in this society not without breaking up piece of who we are and I've I've made the choice of not doing that and I've been very lucky in that I can um you know continue to exist and a lot of that comes down to my boyfriend who believes in me and my artwork and all of that and the only way that I can actually you know really focus in 
given my anxiety and stuff is by just being okay with my inefficiencies, if you could put it that way. And sometimes you can, uh, make lemonade out of these lemons, where, like, maybe I can use me when I'm not having a great day. I can use that to create something that might be helpful for people, though I would hope that I could maybe rephrase the type of message in a more coherent way in the future. That, like... Sometimes you just have to do things at your own pace, and... Ooh, and pulling past, blew past that. You gotta do things at your own pace, for yourself. Um, and sh especially if you're a creator. I feel like if you're not making something for yourself or for some version of yourself, then you're kind of just... Kind of just operating blind, you know? Like... Uh, you're guessing at what other people are gonna like about your things, even if you, like, scientifically prove it, like, okay. At the end of the day, you're just making random crap you don't care about. And is that how you want to spend your time? Is that a, is that the things you want to be remembered by? That you just kept... You spent all this time working on something that you didn't care about? Or that, you know... Even broader than that, you spent time on something that didn't matter. I mean, that's... For me, I can't. I just... I can't do that. That's just not how I function. I couldn't even really try. Whoops. Maybe I just can't... Maybe I just can't operate in this this world correctly because of that because I feel like no matter what you do like it feels like being an artist there's this promise of like oh you, you're a creative you'll work on the things you want no not really not when you you look at like any sort of professional career only the hand a handful of people can do that and like be really successful and there, you can do that and be like modestly successful if you're good shouldn't really matter, though. Too, ma too many artists who did that and who are known for that a lot of times got famous after their death. And, like, if you want to be, like, a, an artist that's actually hired by a company, you're not... You're making what the company wants. Not unless you're, like, at the very top senior level stuff. You hear this all the time when you watch interviews, like... Okay, the only one I can think of right offhand of, like, videos by someone who... climbed their way to the top of, like, the animation industry is, unfortunately, by Butch Hartman, who... Um, you know, enough other problems with him, so... And him being an asshole aside, it kind of brings up the point that, like, he... had to work... He had to spend many, many years of his life working on things that were not his passion to, you know, get in good. Is that a Cartoon 2 network he worked at? Or is it Nickelodeon? Maybe he did both. I can't remember. I don't remember who did Johnny Bravo. I think Johnny Bravo was Cartoon Network, but then his show finally was Fairly Odd Parents. But then even then, his own creation became a slave to the network of them pushing, okay, you gotta do this and that and this and that, and like... I wouldn't want... any of that. I wouldn't trade... I wouldn't trade that for the fame that you get. And the money's not that important to me. I mean, money would make life a lot easier. But, um... I think there's only so much I'd really ever need. And so, why, why waste, like, I've already wasted years of my life being locked up in anxiety of, like, not pursuing things, and hating myself for not being successful or whatnot, but, 
why even I waste more time than starting down the path that I'm going to end up being miserable with. I'm not going to do that. You know? And like, I wish I wish I had I wish I had resisted more when I was younger to that idea, because there's so much anxiety and like self like identity problems I went through with all of that because part of me just it well I guess part of me just was I kept buying into the narratives that everyone else was pushing in terms of oh, you have to you know conform and do things the way society functions. Here's the rules. These rules have nothing to do with our our actual way we think and engage with the world. There is no biological compulsion to um go to college. Get a degree. Work minimum wage while you job hunt. No. We've we've created a a pyramid of social constructs in order to engage with the way this world works. Rules that are generally it, it's the best the best we've managed to scrape together. And it only works for a subset of the population. And for everyone else, we've even... Well, not we, because at this point I'm not I'm not part of this. I'm not one of the ones who's done this. But as we as mankind, and I guess... Liberal thinkers, I guess, maybe? Um, not even liberal. Like, it depends, depends which school of thought and whatever, but... Capitalist thought. In some case, it's it's like right wing, Ayn Rand type stuff of like, oh, there's only a handful of people. They're they're the good ones, the ones who actually can do all the work in society. And I think I think there is a fundamental part of this story that is true, but it's a complete misunderstanding of of things. Where, uh, what, like, Ayn Rand and other individuals like that would say is that there's a handful of people that are actually the workers and everyone else just consumes and is needs to be dragged along and it's a waste whereas i would say that society has been engineered for one type of person and everyone else has forced to endure the world that has been imposed on them and that everyone else is not one monolith either it's a f whole fraction of different types of people different personality types that are more or less suited for capitalist western society and i don't even know if there's any society that has solved this problem i don't i don't know i don't know if there's an econ economic system i'd like to think eventually Maybe technocracy something could one day figure it out. But I don't really know, and I've kind of just accepted that it it's not a solvable thing. It's just it's just how life and reality is. That there is gonna be people who that we live in the world that is a consequence of a uh, consequence of the people who have come before us and the world that they've their ideas imposed on um that they have imposed on the systems they've participated in and over and over again and the most successful people in that system get to impose more of their beliefs and ideas and so at the end of the road you end up with something that is heavily favors those who had the early lead
yet. Um, people of other personality types are praised and lauded and held in high regard, even a lot of times. And there's a lot of controversy about how you approach that, because the fact of the matter is, society is really boring if it's just, just the, the, you know, the entrepreneur type, the, 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 Two or three types of people that really succeed in in our type of society. But it's really boring without creators. It's really boring without, you know, people who are entertaining, people who people who are funny, comedians, musicians, artists, videographers, photographers. Graphic designers, we, we all, all, the whole creative action, essentially. And some of us, willingly or not, uh, it's all willing, but like, will, happily or not, will be able to create for larger projects that are not our dream, or maybe they don't have a passion for it. I think some people can acquire a passion for something that isn't theirs. To be a, a small part of something greater. I just don't... It's not the way I operate. And so I don't... I'm just kind of speculating that that's, there must be some people who do engage with that. Because then no large collaborative projects like video games, like large-scale games... I just don't think it would be possible if literally everyone working on those things did not have a passion for it, despite it not being their thing. Like, obviously that's not true. Obviously collaboration is possible. And, like, I can collaborate, it's just... I don't know, at a large enough scale, if, some, if I didn't have enough control over the final product, I feel myself disengaging. And that's even at, like projects of tiny teams that I have uh, participated in. Once I start, start feeling like my say is like not even a controlling factor, I lose interest quickly. So I don't know how I could ever work on like a large development team for anything. Like it's, it's just not how I operate and I don't know that it's, I think there's probably other artists who are kind of like that as well, where they just like, I don't want to be that type of person either to work with. That seems like it would be, you know, it's it's miserable, especially because, like, I don't like having other people trying to exert too much control over something that is in some part ostensibly mine. So, obviously, I relate very strongly to the idea that someone like me would be really annoying to have to work with. Anyway, that's like a whole diversion, but like it's it's kind of getting back to my point of like there are different sorts of people fulfilling different roles and I think my role is on the same level as really out there people who uh can sort of one-man army their way into creating something great. And I don't know, maybe most of us probably do fail. If I had to guess, we probably all fail. Besides the tiny fraction of people who do not. And even, even like that, it's not one-man. It's, it's the contribution of everyone who holds them up. Their family and friends are the ones, are the unsung heroes of those stories about those types of creators. Because they are almost always very broken people. I think you gotta be kind of a broken person to be able to, to create at that scale. Who knows? Maybe in in time, I if I'm the controlling, if like the, the creator, and I have people working for me who 
they can bring their ideas to the table, but at the end of the day, if it's just me who's the final say on things and the creative lead, maybe I could work in a system like that. But I don't think I could participate in the necessary steps to ever get there. You know? Like, not... not I should, again, clarify. This is only for the idea of, like, making a huge project, like a webcomic. Like, I don't know... I don't know if I could be happy if I was an like someone else's artist for their webcomic like a really long comic a short comic yeah i could probably do that like a couple pages something like that maybe more even more than a couple but if you were to start talking about in a long series even if it's something we know it's going to be successful if it's not like my story to tell i just don't think i could do that you know and like if I can't even do that, then obviously oh, the idea of, you know, regular work. I don't even know how I got through school, to be perfectly honest with you. It has to be the case that I got through school simply by it being the thing that I was already doing as a child. And that I was doing it largely for my own sake. And as soon as I stopped, as soon as it stopped being interesting is when I started doing very poorly. And, like, college was less about... The, the classes were not... Well, some of them were still interesting, but they didn't ever cover enough content. You were expected to be studying a ton on your own. Which is... In retrospect... Kind of... Hilarious that the most expensive schooling you will do... Is the one where you are expected to do the most, most of the work... I don't know that I've ever learned anything reading a textbook. That's just not... I, I don't think I've ever retained that type of stuff. I've paid attention in class. I watch videos now, and I've, I've learned things that way. And it's the same sort of thing. I just... I've always enjoyed just paying attention and learning. And I've... Being out of school, I was unnaturally drawn to educational content on YouTube and stuff because I love, that's just something I love, is just sitting and paying attention and learning stuff. I don't want to have to be expected to read and study and research topics unless I'm making content of my own to put out, it feels like. That was the idea of schooling building you towards a system that like all of this research, all this this understanding and stuff is all supposed to be laying different groundworks for you to engage with different jobs that were expected of you in the real world and like That was never the point for me. And I don't think it's the point for a lot of, a lot of educators, teachers. I think they just want to t teach for the sake of the knowledge. And, um... I mean, that's, that's the only way I could justify, like, dedicating your career towards that repeating that subject matter as if you just have a very strong passion for teaching not so much for um you know the the end result of someone becoming whatever career they would go down with that with that knowledge like if that was your passion that's what you would be doing. You wouldn't be teaching. I, I hate the, you know, those who can do, those who can't teach, because, like, it's so insulting to teachers. They're completely different, like, it's a different calling. And you can have, you can have multiple passions that may not inherently be, um, related or compatible like I'm 
I have a bunch of different things that I know at least more than a normal person about, more than the average person about, in part because I, you know, certain subjects interest me more and I research them more. But... Like, a lot of those have nothing to do with art. And I've considered, like, conflating different things that I do well together. Like, I could probably go into scientific illustration if I wanted to. I just don't think I'd be happy. For, like, aforementioned reasons. It's not, it's not really a creative outlet for my skills. It's an educational one, and maybe I can work that into the YouTube thing one day. I can create my own, like, educational assets if I want to deep dive on, like, biological things. Biological subjects. Maybe one day. But yeah, like... I just am a person who uh, has a lot of a lot of trouble engaging with what is expected of me, I suppose, by society. And, like, that's okay. And there's other people like me. And, um... I guess it's it's okay, but it is does mean that you're gonna have a much harder time. Either you're gonna have to... make some concessions on one level or another. And it's gonna kinda come down to your circumstances in life. But just know that, um... Money is not... Wealth? Amassing wealth? I mean, if that gings you joy and happiness, uh, congrats, but it doesn't do it for me. Ironically playing GTA, but, like... It's just... For me, GTA is kind of a, a hilarious caricature of... of that. Like, the fact that... the most important stat in GTA is money, not anything else. It is kind of pointing a finger and laughing at society like in every other aspect of the game. That, oh, that's the thing that matters? Well, have fun. And like engaging with that playfully. And it's like, oh, number go up is fun. It's like a video gamey thing. Yet, that's how pe some people actually try and seek happiness and success in life. And at the end of the day, I think... If they're so lucky that they don't have some type of mental condition holding them back, and they're born into a society where their personality thrives... Good for them. For the rest of us, we should not be held to their standard and their expectations. And deserve to do the same thing, of live life the way that is most fulfilling for us. Why am I here? Oh, right, I know why I'm here. I want to go empty the safe. I was going to go around and collect all the safes, and then I got distracted. Okay. I don't remember. Does the auto shop have a safe? I don't think it does. Does it? I guess I can go check. 
there a good car for me to take out? Or should I... I think I just parked the, uh... The LG. Where's the actual exit? Over here? Okay. Well, we're gonna see if the auto shop has a, uh... I don't think it has a safe. I, I can poke in, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I guess if there's cars, if there's customer cars here, I can deliver them, though. And I should mention, okay, there is one customer's car. Happiness is not a... Th it's not like a destination you can get to. It's a state you can temporarily inhabit. And it's, I think it's more the idea of it's a track that you try and align yourself to and continue to follow. That generally... From my experience, involves pursuing your passions and regularly achieving things of merit to yourself that is respected by your peers. And like having peers, filling out, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs and whatever, but like beyond that, <clears throat> just. Well, I guess that is, it's that, that self -actual actualization. It's just achieving continually. Continuing to work towards and achieving your goals, whatever those might be. Um, and seeing success and surrounding yourself with those who care about you and sh dismissing what's irrelevant to your experience. And I think the inability to dismiss... Um, something that comes your way, that challenges you, in a way that, like, you know to be false, is indicative of, like, being off that track. Maybe that's not entirely true, but it, it feels like it's been true from my ex personal experience. The things don't get to you unless you know you're not do not you know, achieving what you need or doing what you need for yourself. And then that gets murky because then you start getting conflicted and you have different, you start letting in um, those outside opinions and stuff more, which can lead you further and further off course. And sometimes you might go, you fully dedicate yourself to the wrong course. Also happens too. And the idea of doing that is horrifying to me, so I don't, I will work towards never doing that. Double vented hood. Wheels. Street. Alright, confirm. Deliver. And let's try not to crash and hope that no other players mess with us. This is already starting poorly. I didn't want any players nearby at all.
Okay. No one's been bothering me yet, so... Well, let's keep going. But yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I guess the, the message is... <laughs> oh, I didn't do damage, thankfully. I really need to not be speeding. Slow my roll down. Okay. Hey, we did it. What? Oh, did it actually do damage? It didn't cost anything to the final co final price. It was still 20,000. 20, he detected there was an issue? There was zero dollars in damages. Why wasn't he happy? I mean, I did hit something, but there was no damage. Yeah, what? <laughs> it played a different cutscene than... It's played the cutscene if I delivered a damaged vehicle. Interesting. But, like, the payment reflects that I, it wasn't damaged. Oh, well. Vehicle stolen challenge. That might be a fun one. Though... I think I would need to get down onto the actual freeway. What? What is going on? Vehicle, guard. Oh, I don't care about guard. This one's the one that might be interesting. Why did they... Slowed up so much. Okay. I don't know what business this is for us. So I don't know what direction to head in. Alright, alright. I need to lose the cops, so come on. What service are you looking Unavailable? For? No. Give me a shot when you've made your mind up. That's annoying. Well, that's like the most Lester thing to call about if you stole a vehicle and Simeon wanted it. That's so annoying. Okay. Alright. I feel like the NPCs are crazy today. I keep passing ones that are just driven into walls and stuff like that. Ooh, actually, parking garage is a good idea. Okay, 
Cops, can you not? Thank you. It is funny how literally every parking garage has a ramp on it. So video gamey, which is like, well, that's just how it is. Oh, document forgery? What a waste of my time. I guess I would have noticed that if I looked in the back and saw it was a box of passports. Yellow is on an oppressor, making me a little anxious. Are they heading straight towards me? No, they're not. Okay, then maybe they're cool. We'll see. So pink seems to be very specifically pursuing me. Come on, man. At a certain point, it's pretty clear. You're here to mess with me. Don't. He's gonna hit me or start shooting at me very soon, I can tell. Okay, well, he didn't. Only wanted, don't really care. Gonna keep following me though? I don't know. I'll probably end the episode if I can lose this guy just by straight out running him. Well, I was going to turn onto the highway, but I'm not going to anymore. Kind of just like to lose the cops, but whatever. I think the video is basically over at this point, though, guys. So I'll see you guys later. See ya.